Alright, this is going to be a video on how to um, generate a team for FFT Arena. And this, I'm going to try to make this video as short as I possibly can to, um, to show you um, some of the basics on how to use the memory card generator and the, um, the, uh, <clears throat> the spreadsheet. Alright, now first of all, uh, what you're going to want to do, once I move my laptop for a second, here we go. Alright, first thing you definitely want to do is you want to go to FFT Arena and you want to go to the Arena Beta Download. Now, um, one thing you want to know is while it, the current version right now, 1.38D, um, uh, that's what is available right now. FFM is going to be working on 1.39. And the other thing you could download for 1.38 is Hotfix 2, which fixes the uh, bugs ha going on with the move HPMP up and the projectile guard, as it says right there. Um, I don't think we have to have to worry about that when it comes to 1.39, the Hotfix, because um, a lot of stuff is going to get changed as far as like, the weapons and the classics and the other game mechanics and whatnot. But this is where you want, this is uh, what you want once want so far there easy for me to say you're gonna want the patch for FFT arena and um, if necessary the hotfix but I don't think I have to worry about that too much next you're gonna want is a clean ISO image image file of um, Final Fantasy Tactics um, I did make a new folder in preparation for this so in the case of this I um, just got I have um, ECM tools. There are some. There are some. There are some times that um, if you try to download an ISO, you gotta get an ECM file, and you simply need ECM tools to uncm it. So, yeah, once you have ECM tools, you gotta take the ECM file and drag it over to the unECM. Um, like here, I'll show you very quick. This is how you do it. This is sometimes you might have to do. So um. Yeah, it, it basically decodes um, the ECMs, so it'll turn into a bin file, so that way um, um, it can become a bin file for you to be able to um, um, load on your PlayStation emulator. It is going to take a second. Hmm, it didn't take this long on my first try. But uh, anyways, what you're also going to need... Um, yeah, as we wait for that to finish, what you're also going to need is, um, you're going to need a couple of things too. To patch FFT Arena to a clean ISO, you want to go to the main site, download tools. Um, you're going to want, um, PPF Omatic, which is right here. This is where you can get that. Um, I do have the stuff already prepared for all this, so I'm just showing you where to get what. Um, and you're also going to need. Um, FFTastic, that's the one that's going to save the memory card that you actually loaded. Uh, this one is decoded right now. Now, I, I already did decode it. I just, I already did decode um, the bin file, Final Fantasy Tactics. I just wanted to basically show you uh, what to do in case you ever co come across stuff like that. Um, but otherwise, you can find the Final Fantasy Tactics image file on... Um, uh, elsewhere, like another website that you prefer. Anyways, uh, what you want to do next is you want to go to open up PPF and you want to click on ISO, ISO file and you're going to want to find um, I'm going to go to desktop because that's where I put the new folder. You're definitely going to want to find uh, the Final Fantasy Tactics image file that you found that you downloaded. There we go. And you're going to want to find the FFT Arena 1.38D PPF file. You want to hit apply. So, after after about a few seconds, it should um, successfully burn the PPF file to the ISO file. Um, Again, like I said this before, depending on how fast this process works, I'm going to try to make this short, um, as short as I can here. 
again this is just for those who are pretty new to um, using the, the spreadsheet um, which I'm about to open up right now if I can find it there it is Yeah, I know this is actually going to take a while, but um, so just bear with me. So I'll let you know when um, everything else opens up. Oh, never mind, never mind. Don't have to wait. Patch successfully applied. All right, we can X that out. Okay, um, I just had to take a while for the Excel spreadsheet to open now. In case you ever do come across um, downloading a hotfix, this is what you do. Um, you want to go open up the FFT RG ASM. This is basically a tool for ASM hacking. You want to click on uh, hotfix. Then you want to hit, um, let's see, what else am I looking for? Uh, let's see, reload, I think. All right, so you double click on to so make sure you uh, check off the 1.30 AD hotfix. You want to hit patch ISO, and then you want to find the uh, FFT Arena image file that you patch FFT Arena with. There we go, and that's it. So this is uh, I know somewhat irrelevant to the video, but this is something that uh, is kind of useful, just in case you um ever come across a patch that has an error this is um as long as you get the hotfix is how you um apply the hotfix all right next up we're going to be um open up the memory card generator which i do have open right now and in case you ever come across this now you are going to need uh, microsoft excel 2007 or greater um if you ever come across this make sure you click on enable con content or enable macros or whatever so that way you can uh, mess around with the um, memory card and everything else. This basically gives you a tutorial on how to do things right here. So um, in case there's something about the video that you might not understand, you can always refer to this. Alright, now as far as adding the team, what I'm going to simply do is... Um, uh, I'm going to do FDC because I did see that FD, uh, FDC did submit a team for um, Season 7 or the FFT Arena Season 2, which he did not enter, but he feels that he should do it for the hell of it. So um, I'm just going to call it S7. Now, now, how you can check for teams in case you're trying to register someone else's or if you're trying to make up your own. So let's say right now you're doing this to put in someone else's team in. So let's check out uh, Full Death Course team. Let's scroll down a bit. There we go. All right. So let's say you want to add his season 17. This is just just an example. You um you just basically. Uh, add in what needs to be added or if you want to do your own team this is what you do the colors this is just basically the palettes about um, what's gonna be your team's primary your secondary color and um, <coughs> excuse me and I'm going to show you very quick on uh, how building a character works now a name can be um, wherever it wants you can make up a gender for whatever it wants um, so I'm just going to use FDC's uh, Samurai just to do an example. There we go. Now Zodiac, you can pick about um, 13 Zodiacs including Serpentarius. You put in Fury and Faith. Now one thing you have to keep in mind though when you uh, calculate Fury and Faith. There is like no maximum Fury and Faith limit onto a team. However, um, they have to be between 40 and 70. Like, like uh, the maximum... Um, 
Fury and faith values on the team combined can be between 160 and 280. It can't be higher, it can't be lower. Like, say for instance, right now, say if it had a Fury of 30, you're going to get an error saying the Fury's too low. So you want to uh, bump it back up to 40. Or if you did higher than 70, you're going to get an error that says faith is too high. Now, of course, there are some. Now, of course, there are some abilities that can um, alter the Fury and Faith value during the game, like Warpath and Pilgrimage, um, Brave Out and Faith Up. But that's only during the game. Uh, initially, this is what you're gonna have to get. Now, for female, uh, the, there's only one exclusive class for the female. That's a dancer. For the male exclusive, that's a bard. So, if you ever accidentally did female bard. You're gonna get this error, and it tells you cannot be bar while not male. So the bar has to be male. So I'm just pointing that out to you. All right. So I'm gonna construct FDC Samurai for a second, and I'll be back with you for the rest of this video. All right. So we, now we have a team made. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to uh, settings, and this is gonna be pretty important because. If you're going to um, upload a memory card using FFTastic, this is what, you, this is what you're going to want to do here. Let's see if I can... Uh, there we go. Alright, so, you want, now when you go to the memory card tab, right, where it says generate uh, memory card as, you want to select GM, dot .gme. Well, this is just how I do it anyway, so I'm just showing you my method of doing it. So then, so eventually, what you want to do is you want to go to the memory card. Um, just bring up a team. We'll say AeroGP's team, and you should click on save. And then um, you want to do it at the folder. You uh, you know you're gonna be able to find this memory card. Just give it a second. All right, desktop. Uh, we're gonna hit go to new folder. We're just gonna call it uh, test. Then we're gonna hit save. All right. Uh, next up, what you're gonna want to do next is you want to open up FFTastic. Now again, this could be pretty important. So we're gonna go to file, then open. Just go wait for that to open. You gotta click on test right here. Click file, save. And that's it. Now, next thing you're going to do is you're going to open up a PlayStation emulator, uh, wherever you may have it. And then you're going to simply, well, I'm going to configure my controls first. It does tend to, does tend to bug out a little bit, so I'm just um, making sure that it doesn't. We're going to go to the memory card, and you're going to pick a slot, and you're going to select... Uh, the memory card that, um, yeah, I know, I have Garcia's Wayne. It's a horrible show. Um, you, you want to pick up the, uh, memory card that you, um, that you saved. They, you you want to you go to the location where your memory card is. You hit OK. You want to go to File, Run ISO. And then you open up the ISO. And there you go. That is pretty much how you do it. So um, I thank you all for watching this little video. I hope it did help, and I do apologize if um, if the video doesn't necessarily look the greatest. But um, it, you know, I have it on full screen, like the um, like the center focus of the camera. That's just how it is right now. So uh, th again, thanks for watching, and um, peace out.